Approval from the European Parliament in a tight vote means Ursula von der Leyen becomes the first woman to hold the EU's top job. As Commission President, she'll set the policy agenda for the next five years. I feel so honoured and I'm overwhelmed and I thank you for the trust you placed in me. You, the trust you placed in me is confidence you placed in Europe. Your confidence in a united and a strong Europe from east to west, from south to north. As a German, a woman and a close ally of Angela Merkel, von der Leyen will be seen as an extension of the Chancellor's dominant role in European politics. She owes her career to Merkel and like Merkel she's a political conservative and a passionate supporter of European integration. But big spending promises designed to sway doubting MEPs are a departure and may prove hard to fulfill. We must take bold steps together. Mrs. von der Leyen is indebted for their support to opposing quarters from the socialists to the nationalists, which means someone will have to be disappointed. Supporters in the heavyweight centre-right European People's Party bloc to which von der Leyen belongs brush those concerns aside. She managed to get the support of 27 out of 28 heads of government in the European Union. So Western Europeans, Eastern Europeans were supporting her, representatives from the different political families. And what she also managed to do is, together with others, to bring France and Germany closer back together. The French-German cooperation is not everything in the European Union, that's sure. But without a close Franco-German cooperation, things really don't move forward in the European Union. Among the promises Ursula von der Leyen has made is reform of the very electoral process that had failed to produce a democratically elected candidate with her name emerging instead from behind closed doors as the preferred pick of EU heads of government and state. It's not only far-right populists talking about a democratic deficit it in the EU anymore. Many other MEPs are saying it as well. And try as she might to be the consensus candidate for all, her promise of a green climate deal for Europe wasn't enough to sway the Greens. What is this green deal for Europe? Can you explain that to me? I can't. Well, if you can't, I can't either. I mean, again, a slogan is not a program. What is it? How much? In which direction? But there'll be an abiding sense of relief. An autumn of crises beckons, a trade war with Trump and Britain sliding towards a no-deal Brexit. At least Europe now knows who's in charge. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, Strasbourg.